This video is the second lesson from a mini course on virtual reality game development with the HTC Vive, Unity, and Steam VR. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Steam to get the Steam VR tool up and running. This YouTube series is from the first section of the Vive Developer mini course at VR Dev School. If you want to take the full course, click on the link shown on the screen and enroll in the course for free. So next up, we got to make sure that you have the Steam VR runtime tool installed through Steam. So open up your Steam account here and then go to library tools and then look for Steam VR beta. So you can see I've got it installed here. And if you don't just right click and instead of play, it'll say install just like this one does kind of thing. And uh, it does say beta here. And uh, what you might also need to do if you don't see this yet. So after the headsets launch, you should be able to see this, I, I, I would imagine. And that it'll become easier. If you don't see it yet, what you gotta do is enable beta. So go up to your Steam uh, menu, hit settings, and then you'll get all your account settings here. And then what you wanna look for is under account, beta participation, Steam beta update. So you can see I've, got, I've uh, enrolled in the beta programs. So you can go here under beta participation and then opt into the uh, Steam beta updates and click OK. And uh, some things will update probably there for you. And then go back over to tools and then you should see Steam VR beta in install that. So what that is, is uh, you should then see Steam VR up here. If you don't, then just go to tools like I didn't there. So I just go to tools and then I right click and I go run. And uh, you can see right here, I actually don't have my HMD turned on right now, but uh, that's what you'll see. And then this is the tool. These all go green when all your base stations are turned on and everything is ready to go. So that's the Steam VR runtime and you'll need that running while you're in Unity. Okay, so now that you've got the runtime installed, you can see I've got the headset plugged in and turned on. I've got both of the controllers turned on and I've got my base stations plugged in and, and they're, they're connected, they're synced up and that's all set up. So if you haven't already, I'm gonna show you how to run the room setup tutorial or the room setup tool. So just click here on Steam VR and I'll move it up a bit for you. And you can run the room setup. Move this out of the way. And what we're gonna do here, this is gonna calibrate our play space. So we wanna run the room scale here. Gives you some advice on how big your space should be. The first thing it should do is yeah, look to make sure that the controllers and headsets are all ready to go. And it can see all of them. And then I'm gonna stand up here and then I'm gonna stand in the middle of my play space and I'm gonna point the controller at my monitor and then pull the trigger with my index finger. Okay, so I've got that part done. Next up, it's gonna calibrate the floor. So I take both of my controllers and I place them over on the floor. Then I calibrate the floor and then make sure that you step back a bit and make sure that you're kind of not blocking the base stations because that'll help uh, it get both, uh, both base stations viewing the controllers. Okay, that's done. And next up, I walk around my play space and I hold one controller holding the trigger and it'll map out my play space. So you can watch it on the screen as I do so. I'll put the other controller back on my desk so I don't step on it, clear out the space a little bit so I know I can walk around unobstructed. I'm gonna start here in front of my desk and I'm gonna just hold the trigger and you'll see the trace tracing out the space. Okay, so that's the play area that I have. And next, when we hit next, then SteamVR is gonna to try to fit a, the, the biggest rectangle that it can in that play area. And then the really important part for Unity devs, click next here. Okay, so where this arrow is facing, see it fit this play area into that space. And this arrow is gonna to map to the positive Z axis in Unity. So make a note of where that is and that'll help you orient yourself so when you start your scene, things will be more intuitive as to where they are in space in relation to Unity. So remember, this arrow is Z in Unity. And then also, you know, you can get an idea of your play area size. 
And I'll show you later that why that's kind of a good idea because there's some tools in the Steam VR plugin that help you um, see in Unity what your scene is going to be like. So you can calibrate for your play space and make uh, affordances for smaller play spaces, etc. So that's the room setup. And then there's a little party, happy dance, and we're ready to go. Click on the link on the right to watch the next lesson from the Vive Developer Mini Course, or click on the link on the left to enroll in the full course for free at VR Dev School. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to get more virtual reality developer videos from VR Dev School.